In this second part of the video, we are going to talk about the Kubernetes architecture, specifically the master nodes and worker nodes. In the following diagram, we will see the basic architecture of Kubernetes cluster. As we know, the cluster consists of multiple nodes, specifically master nodes and worker nodes. At a high level, the master nodes are responsible for managing the cluster while the worker nodes host the workloads. To start with the master nodes, the master node is a control plane that takes care of maintaining the desired state of the cluster. It monitors the Kubernetes object definition, YAML files, and makes sure that they are scheduled on the worker nodes. The master node runs multiple processes, including API server, controller manager, scheduler, and etcd, which we are going to talk about these components soon. Turning on, turning on to worker nodes, the worker node can be a virtual machine or even a physical server. So worker nodes are responsible for running containerized applications. Worker nodes are managed by the master node. They run following services, Kubelet, Container Runtime, and Kube Proxy. They also run pods. The worker nodes host so-called pods, which are the most atomic units of Kubernetes. These pods can contain one or more containers. Access to, these con to the containers in the pods is provided using a service. Also, a worker nodes provides Kubernetes networking. So let's talk about more about the master node components. Um, in this page, you will see the master node components. Let's talk about the API server, uh, which exposes the Kubernetes API. It's the front end of the control plane. And how about the control, control, ma controller manager? Controller manager is a multiple controller. Multiple controller are responsible for the overall health of the cluster. So what about etcd? It's a database that hosts the cluster state information. And the scheduler is responsible for placing the pods across the nodes to balance the resource consumption. Now let's talk about the worker node components. So first is uh, Kubelet. Uh, this reads the pod specification and makes sure the right containers run in the pods. Uh, it also interacts directly with the master node. Kube proxy. This is a network proxy running on each node. It enables the usage of services. And the last but not the least is the container runtime. This is a responsible for running containers. So in this video, we have seen the, the master nodes and worker nodes and their components and their definitions of these components. So hopefully in the next video, we are going to talk about the other components of Kubernetes. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.